So you want to learn how to draw. And every time you check any video or any course about learning how to draw, etc., you always hear the phrase, You gotta learn fundamentals. 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 They're kind of not wrong. I mean, no matter what kind of art you like, if it's like more traditional, realistic, or something more contemporary, stylized, illustration, cartoons, anime, all of these art forms or art styles, I should say, have something in common. They are based on reality, there are different interpretations of reality. Yes, realistic art is completely based on reality, and anime is an exaggeration of reality. But in order to do realistic or to exaggerate reality, you need to know what reality, in quotes, looks like. The only problem here is that whenever someone says you gotta learn the fundamentals of art, no one actually kind of explains what the fundamentals of art are, which kind of makes it a problem. So you're kind of like, okay, I know I don't know something, but I don't know what I don't know. So how am I going to learn what I don't know so I know it? You know? So that's why I thought I would make a video on what the fundamentals are and then explain each concept and each, let's say, theory per se. So then you know where to start. So let's dive into the video. Hey guys, Lily here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe in order to not miss any of my upcoming videos. Before we dive in, I do want to say that if you want a more tutorial-like video and you want to learn how to draw this awesome sauce statue that you see in the background of Alexander the Great and want to learn some fundamentals of realistic drawing, which of course you can apply to any other art style, Check out my new Skillshare class. You'll find the link down below. If you sign up to Skillshare with that link, you get like two months free premium, which is awesome sauce, like on Skillshare. And in this class, I learn fundamental concepts of how to draw realistically. So first I'm gonna start with the fundamentals that you need to learn for drawing. And then I'm gonna tell you some personal tips and let's say in quotes tricks that I learned from experience and from my tutors and teachers that I've had throughout the years. So first of all, let's just name all the fundamentals of art. We got color theory, perception, anatomy, construction, which are used together, gesture, perspective, composition, and finally rendering. So that's the video. Good luck, guys. Joking. So, <laughs> so let's just talk a little bit about what each of these fundamental concepts are. So the first one we're going to talk about is color theory. So I think you've seen the color wheel before. I think everyone has. You've probably used it in school as well. So what exactly is color theory, though? Color theory is the ability or the knowledge of knowing, the knowledge of knowing what colors to use, what color schemes to use in order to communicate what you want to communicate, right? So for example, if you want to show danger, like you'll see this in movies, if they want to show danger and like do 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 kind of thing, right? They'll use like a reddish kind of color scheme. If If you want to show like kind of depression and loneliness, you kind of use something like blues. Don't you do that. Don't you say your goodbyes. Not yet. And etc, 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 right? So each color and each color scheme has like a different psychology behind it. And it's influenced by a variety of things. So anyway, we're gonna move on from colors now because I think I, I went a little bit too long there. And we're gonna go to our second one, which is perception. So what is perception? Perception basically is the artist's ability to communicate what he wants to communicate with the audience. So you need to take into consideration what the audience will understand depending on what you're going to do, right? So for example, if you wanna make an artwork that I don't know, like pisses people off, right? Uh, you know, you want to use the shock factor or whatever. 
say you're gonna use the color red because red generally means passion and anger, danger, etc. I know I went into colors, but it's just an example. So perception is the ability of the artist to communicate the meaning that you want to communicate. And it's also the ability of an artist to understand the visual stimuli around him. So in simple terms, the way you look at art and the way you communicate your art. Let's look at number three. Anatomy and construction. So the reason I've put these two together is because you kind of need one and the other to kind of use them, you know, you know. So let's look at construction first, actually. So construction is the ability to take a uh, form and to simplify it in a more simple shape, like here, right? So for example, you have a human and you break it down into different shapes, simple shapes, to be able to construct what you want to draw. You see what I did there? You see what I did there? And anatomy, I think anatomy is kind of like, you understand what anatomy is, but it, it's how something is structured, the morphology, right? The, the, the shape of something. So those two are kind of together. In order to get good at anatomy, you need to do, you need to use construction. And in order to use construction, you need to understand anatomy, etc., etc., etc. So those two things, you're going to practice together, like it or not. So the next one is gesture. So gesture is basically a quick drawing that captures the, the essential like gesture movement of the subject right of the person or animal or whatever you're drawing so gesture is basically like absolutely everywhere right so it's in objects and people and animals and plants etc and you usually practice gesture by doing quick drawings because the point of it is not to have like an absolutely amazing finish render drawing the point is to understand how something moves how something is in the space etc so the next one is perspective which i think you know this as well it's a representation of an object like in a three-dimensional space in 3d right so depending where you're seeing something from and where that thing the thing and the thing the object is like the perspective changes so perspective for me personally is something quite hard and you you learn how to use grids etc in order to do perspective correctly and all that jazz but it's very important in drawing no matter what type of drawing an anime or stylized illustration realistic drawing it cartoons it doesn't matter perspective is absolutely in every single art form or art style. So the next one is composition. So composition, I think again, you might know kind of what it is. So basically the placement of different like visual elements of your drawing or artwork, etc. So like figures, trees, whatever, right? So composition is very important when making an artwork in order to communicate what you need to communicate and to make sure that the viewer is focusing on what you want the viewer to focus at. And it's used in like videography, filmography, illustration, fine arts, doesn't matter, like every single art form out there, even dancing or theater, composition is used. It is very, very important. And let's move on to the final one, rendering. So artistic rendering basically means the process of like adding color, shading, texturing an image. So basically getting it to the final result, let's say. So putting all the details, like all the final details. So it can also be used like to describe like the quality of like the execution of that process. But basically it means like the final details, okay? So anything that has to do with finishing an image up. So these are all the fundamentals of art. So now you know the fundamentals of art and you can go and check them out more and practice them in order to improve your drawing skills and your artistic skills in general. So now I'm gonna tell you some tips that I learned throughout my years of studying art through teachers and experience, etc. The first one is, at least when it comes to realistic drawing, is that outlines are not a thing. They don't exist. Again, in realistic drawing, this is not about stylized, but in realistic drawing. I remember the first time a teacher came up to me and was like, why are you making outlines? Outlines don't exist. People do not have outlines. Nothing has an outline in real life. And I know it's kind of obvious, but you know, as a, a youngster, it was shocking. It was like a revelation of some sorts. I was like, oh, 
you know, because before that I drew everything using outlines. But when I learned construction and anatomy, I started using shapes and forms to construct. See again what I did there. Uh, my image, right? The second one is, which I think is very, very important, is not to draw what you think you see, but to draw what you see. And now you're like, I'm confused. So I'll explain. So when you start drawing, you tend to draw everything that the way you think they are, right? So you have a specific perception of each thing, like for example, a hand or a head or a cup. So you draw your perception of that thing. You don't actually draw what you see. So a very important thing for me that I learned was to a to discard any sort of perception I had or notion about anything I'm drawing, and secondly to stop looking at whatever I'm drawing as the thing I know it is. So for example, you're, again, you're like, what are you talking about? I mean, for example, if I'm drawing a figure, if I'm drawing a person, stop looking at that person as a person. Just look at it as shapes, as forms, as light and shadow. When you throw away the perception and notion of you ha that you have of whatever you're drawing, then you'll actually be able to better draw what you see. And the third one is, relax your hand. I know this sounds a little bit like idiotic in a way, but just relax your hand. When you start drawing, you feel very insecure about drawing and your, uh, your hand and your lines are very stiff. And the one thing I learned is, first of all, relax your hand. And second of all, make sure you're using your shoulder when drawing, right? Not just like your, your hand, like your fingers and like your actual wrist, but like your whole arm. Like make sure that you start making your lines much more freer, let's say, in order to practice the different gestures, etc. And then you'll see that your drawings will get some air, they'll be able to breathe, they will have much more expression in them. So these were my personal fundamentals, let's say as well. If you want to learn some fundamentals of realistic drawing, as I said before, check out my course. It was really fun to make and it will really help you with drawing realistically and understanding also construction actually would help you understand construction as well and measuring proportions, etc. So use the link down below in the description box. You'll get two months free of premium on Skillshare and I'll see you next time.